nope i didn't write this code i don't know rejects much but i can use code llama and do this rejects in this video i'm going to show you how you can run code llama 7 billion parameter model the instruct fine tune model on your free google collab version let's get started with the video all you need is use this google collab notebook that i'm going to give in the youtube description click and get started i'm going to explain you line by line the first thing that we need to make sure is we need to make sure whether we have got a GPU. So you can make sure it quite easily by just typing NVIDIA SMI and then running the code. Click runtime, click change runtime and then you have got the T4 GPU. I mean if you are using this Google Collab Notebook most likely it should be already running on GPU but still it is a good practice to make sure that you have GPU. The next thing is we need to install the latest transformers accelerate these are the two libraries that we need to install transformers and accelerate once we have installed transformers and accelerate from transformers import auto tokenizer import transformers import torch then the next thing is you need to specify the model this code is especially written for the instruct fine-tune model but if you want to use the base model you can still use it i've just commented it and i'll tell you what are the changes that you have to do once you specify the model, then you are going to use the tokenizer from pre-trained model and also you're going to build the pipeline. If you're not familiar with pipeline, pipeline is one of the easiest way, the highly abstracted way using transformers to build a text generation use case. So pipeline is also available for a lot of other things like text classification, image classification. But in this particular case, we're going to use pipeline for the particular task, which is text generation. And we're going to use the same model and we're going to use the model with float 16. Here there is no quantization happening just for clarity. And the device map auto will help the accelerate library to manage memory between CPU and GPU memory. This process will take a couple of minutes. In my case, it took two minutes, which will download all the required models. You can also see that it is a quite a bit of like 12 to 13 gigs of model. So just make sure that you have that much of memory for you to run it. If you're running this on Google Collab, this should ideally work fine without any issue. Then the next thing is we are going to give a system prompt and then we are going to give a user question and we're going to create that in the template that Llama model usually accepts. That is in this particular format where you've got the system prompt and also the user message. Once you have the system prompt and the user message specified in this particular format, then we're going to use the pipeline to create this particular final step which will take the prompt and also take uh, extra other hyperparameters and finally create the sequences which we are finally going to print it out and in this particular case you can play with temperature also you can play with maximum length just to make sure what kind of output and how long do you want it to be once you have specified this all you have to do is now you have to print the sequences and you will have the code ready so let me go and show the co question that i've asked and also show the output and then we are going to try this ourselves the first question that i've asked is provide answers in python that is the system prompt and the user message is write a function that detects a pattern that matches the style of 23 slash 01 slash 2023 from the given text so what i'm expecting the model to do is i'm expecting the model to create a rejects not necessarily hard code the state but something that looks like this and the code is quite fine i mean it generates a lot more than that but the code is working quite fine so i can just copy this entire thing paste it in a google collab notebook and then you can see that it works completely fine even if i detect the if i change the pattern something like this and run this it works pretty much fine because it manages to write the rejects properly so let's go ahead and ask a different question in this case write a function that detects a pattern i'm going to just give this as an option now so it, it should be like this um, jan and i'm going to just give this i'm going to run this code first we have specified the system prompt user prompt then run this code this will take more than few seconds and then finally i'm going to run this once i run this this should ideally give me the code that i can use this in google collab notebook further sections to practically run and then see if llama is hallucinating or if it does the job properly meanwhile another thing that i wanted to highlight here is that if you are using not using the instruct model if you are using the base model then the prompt template that you are going to use here should be slightly different this prompt template is specifically given as a, an instruct prompt template if you are using the base model you will use a different method like a prefix and suffix method if you are interested in that I, I can make a separate tutorial all about how to use 
that particular model as well but i'm also trying to put together like a web application that will be easier for you to use anyways now this has been done now i'm going to run the final one the the place where we're going to print the result so i write a function that detects a pattern that matches the style of this from the given text now we have got the answer i can copy that come back down and i can paste this after i paste this i can use the function basically and i can paste this and i can run this just to make sure whether it works it didn't work because you know we are still sticking with the old one but let's say in this case i'm going to say feb the same date feb and then do this i think it should work fine because as you can see the rejects it looks for two digit three letters and then also four digits i think this works completely fine and that is the power of code llama 7 billion instruct model but i don't want to stop with only python even if i don't understand javascript necessarily i'm going to go and then say type script and ask it to do the same thing so i'm going to give the same thing but instead of asking it to do with java uh, instead of asking it to do it with python i'm asking it to do its type script and then again this entire thing runs so the system prompt user prompt goes into the prompt template that prompt template goes into the pipeline and the pipeline basically runs the model for inference once that is done we are going to finally print the result unfortunately i do not have enough skill set to evaluate the output but let's see if the rejects matches so meanwhile what you have to do is you have to just go click the link in the youtube description which i'll give the collab notebook and get started with this whole new llama world the model has been run successfully and then print the sequences and now all we change is we change the system prompt type script and you can see that in type script it is looking for the constant pattern i think in the type script probably it didn't do proper good job because it is hard coded it here so maybe we need more prompt engineering in that particular case which was really good to test so overall i hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to run code llama 7 billion parameter model on google collab it's a very simple set of instructions install the latest transformers from github install accelerate which will help us in memory management and then from transformers load auto organizer and import transformers which we are going to use for pipeline then import torch which is something we are going to use for the data type and then specify the model and then download the tokenizer specify the pipeline which is a highly abstracted class for us to do certain tasks using hugging face transformers library and in this particular case we are doing text generation this is not a quantized model it's with float 16 precision and then provide the system prompt the user prompt and create the prompt template and send the prompt template to pipeline with the certain hyper parameters and finally get the result and get it printed and you are going to experience a new ai writing computer program for you i hope this was helpful to you if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise make sure you check out the description for this google collab notebook and try it out yourself and let me know in the comments what do you feel about this latest llama model